PreSonus just released version 7 of Studio One, and even though everyone is updating, there might be some of you thinking, version 7, why should I pay for that? Why should I pay for that? Now, as a disclaimer, I don't work for, and am definitely not sponsored by PreSonus. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to act like I am convincing you to upgrade to version 7 of Studio One, the best, most thrilling version ever. Let's see what you've got. All right, here we go. Ready to make some fresh, fat beats, my home slice? I'm sure you are, because version 7 introduces the launcher. If you've ever used Ableton Live, this launcher allows you to record and perform sections of a project in the grooviest of ways. The launcher makes use of cells, scenes, and playlists. Each is capable of more elaborate sections of samples and audio tracks. If you're performing live and want to come up with your own fresh arrangements, then the launcher tool is the way to go. Just like in Ableton, you click certain launch pads that cue different portions of your session's arrangement or samples. Additionally, Studio One version 7 offers a global transposition feature. Now you can transpose an entire session or multiple tracks with the click of a button rather than just one track at a time. Now for the weird stuff. Version 7 introduces AI-powered stem separation. Here come the robots! According to PreSonus, the stem separation algorithm in Studio One Pro 7 separates a mixed audio event into drums, bass, chords, and vocals, and adds these elements to new tracks inside a folder track. As an extra option, the separated audio events may be bounced again into a single file. This allows for quick and easy creation of instrumentals, minus vocal, or no drum versions. Now, personally speaking, I can't wait for the future update when AI just records and mixes audio for us. Since I can assume you're still a human, why don't you give that like button a smash and hit subscribe. Now let's talk tempo. Studio One Pro 7 now features next level tempo detection technologies based on deep neural networks and state of the art statistical models. Apparently the tempo tracking works for not only precisely recorded material, but also for those free form recordings that don't quite fit the grid. Beat makers will also be thrilled with the splice integration, which expands the available samples you can use within Studio One by default. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing. Splice? is a subscription plan starting at $12.99 per month. Version 7 users can enjoy a 7-day free trial, then, you know, it costs money. That's great and all, but is that it? Of course not! Of course you get more! How, uh... How about, uh... Oh yeah, this next feature will rock your socks off! Studio One now has a detachable window for the browser, allowing you to easily access your plugins, files, samples, and loops. There's also a new virtual instrument with Studio One Pro 7 called Deep Flight One. This instrument allows you to layer three unique sounds all in one instrument, ambient pads, percussive elements, and more. Pro EQ, compressor, channel strip, and bit crusher plugins from PreSonus now have an improved auto gain feature. For more of an exhaustive list of features, of course, you can check out the PreSonus website. Now let's talk cash. Let's talk cash. Speaking of price, this is a no-brainer. For the measly price of $199.99, you too can be a proud owner of Studio One Pro. That's only $3.57 a week. Talk about cheap. In fact, I dare say you'd be hard pressed to find any doll with that kind of price. Now, of course, version 7 comes with the previous features of version 6. You know how you're always listening to music with immersive and spatial audio? No. Ah, well, if you ever get around to installing all those Atmos speakers in your living room, Studio One has got you covered. Still not convinced? Okay, well, you know how you're always struggling with chords and fancy stuff like B flat major and those pesky sus4 chords? Well, with the chord track, I'm pretty sure you can master those things. Although I should clarify, I've never actually used the chord track, but anyway. Did you know there's a built-in beat maker? Oh wait, there's also the scratch pad. The scratch pad is a tool that often reveals itself at the most awkward moments, just to remind you to save your work and come back later. All joking aside, the question still remains, should you upgrade to version seven? Personally, I'm not saying the features given in version 7 will go completely unused, 
but I am disappointed. I don't use Studio One in a live context, so the launcher feature is just not interesting to me. In fact, if you're looking for that feature, I have much more confidence in the stability of Ableton Live than I do Studio One. I've mentioned this before, but I'm also not a beat maker. Presonus have gone so heavy into samples, loops, and VSTs that I just can't imagine them rolling back to guitars and traditional instruments. The only feature that isn't directly tied to EDM and rap music is the auto gain feature added to some of their stock plugins. Tempo mapping, sample libraries, VSTs, and the launcher tool are great, but I dare say I will use them all for the sake of YouTube, but none for my personal projects. Now, if you're upgrading from a previous version of Studio One, it'll be $149.99. And if you're new to Studio One, you'll pay the full price of $199.99. Is this the end of Studio One? We'll see. Let me know what you think about version seven in the comments and let me know what DAW you're using or which one you might be going to in the future. Now, YouTube thinks you'd love this video here next to my shoulder. So why don't you give that a look? And thanks for watching.